We've been working with Bolton Carer Support for a good few months now and their work is absolutely incredible. We get to see so many people who've been helped through them. They help unpaid carers, uh, people who look after family members or whether it be people in the community itself. Two minutes, it should be fine. No, 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 mum, mum, that's all you have to do. I'll do everything else when I get home, right? Yeah, I'll see you later. Up you go. Bye, 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 bye. Oh, sorry, I'm so sorry that I'm late. I've just been so hectic. You see, my life, it's just one big hectic ball. I, I bet you can agree. Oh, would anybody like any water or anything? Oh. You you want some water? Oh, I'll get you some water. Oh, I'm so happy to see you all. Like, really, I never get the chance to go out. So just to see people like me, it just feels so good. Here you go. Would you like some as yes, well? Please. Oh, God, good. Thank there you. you go. Thank you. Oh, right. Just get myself some water and then we can get... There seems to be none left for me. You know, it's like my life in general. If you imagine that this jug is you and the water inside is the time and energy that you give and give to anything and everything. And then once you've given and given and given, that's it, you're all out. And it's just like me. Give and give and give all the time and never get anything in return. But not that I, I even asked for anything, but... Well, this one time I was asking for help and really I have been through the struggles of asking for help. I can't even explain. This one time I got in touch with DWD and... Oh, my Welcome God. to the DWP. Hi, um, I was just looking for some help. And I was if you're if calling to change a benefit, or change your address, or cancel a benefit, you can do this at www.dwp.gov.uk. Always look on the bright <laughs> side of life. <laughs> Always look on the bright side of life. Oh yes, um, I was... Always look on the bright side of life. <laughs> this went on for hours and hours. DWP, Jennifer speaking, how can I help? Hi, I was just wondering if you could help me. You see, I'm a full-time carer for my mum and, well, when it comes to the end of the month, I'm just struggling so much and just getting me really stressed out and I was told that I could be entitled to some help and... Well, I was just wondering if you could help me at all. Oh, well, I'm afraid it doesn't quite work like that. I can't just give you help. I need to know a bit more information. For example, your circumstances. And I need to know exactly what you're claiming for. Oh, yeah, but th th that's the thing. I, I don't know what it is that I'm entitled to, so if you could just help me then, that would be good. I can't just do that. Like I said, I need to know your circumstances. I need to know your name, address, bank details, and the name of the person that you're caring for. There's lots of help out there. A sea of help. Lots of pots for lots of different people. Oh, right. Um, that's wonderful. Well, if you could just tell me the, what it is I have to do and how I get the help, then that would be brilliant. Of course. First, we need to fill out some paperwork, some forms. We have... Forms one, two, three, and four. Oh, I almost forgot. Five to fifteen. <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> that's a lot of paperwork. Oh, don't worry. You can do it all online. Oh, well, that is a problem. I mean, 
I don't have a computer, so... Oh, don't worry about that. You can do it at the library. When do I have time to go to the library? I mean, I'm a full-time carer. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? You're not listening to me. I just really need some help and you're just not at all listening. Well, if you fill out these forms, we'll help you out as soon as possible. And some bit of good news, you can backdate it all up to three months. Is there anything else I can help you with at all? You're just not listening to me. Okay, bye-bye. Wow. <laughs> so, ladies and gents, you can see my predicament. I mean, it got to the point where I was just so stressed out and so lonely and it just felt like nobody was even listening to me. I felt like I was in some Charles Dickens novel of some sort. Like, people didn't want to or even could help me. And I just felt so lost and alone and by the end of the month, I just felt like I needed to get out. I needed a break. I needed to meet people like me. So I went to the local because I'm sure there is other full-time carers out there like me. I just don't know them. I haven't met them yet. Hello. Oh, hi, DWP. I was just wondering DWP, could... I'm local oh. info. Hello, local. <laughs> I was just wondering, sorry, I've just got off the phone and it's been so stressful. I was wondering Don't if you, you could worry. help me. I understand. You see, I've got so much stress and I'm having to fill out all these paperwork for benefits and everything else I have to fill out paperwork for. I was just wondering if you could tell me if there was any groups out there where I could meet people like me. Oh yeah, there's loads of stuff out there. We just need to know where to look first. Now, first of all, where do you live? At Farnworth. Oh, well there's lots round there. Oh, God. We actually have, oh, there's a group called the Knitting Circle. It's at the local college. Oh, there's tea, coffee. Oh, and there's a lovely smoothie bar. It's a great location. Well, it does sound great, but I'm not really a fan of knitting, to be honest. Well, you can always find your own activities online. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I will give it a go. Maybe I could even like knitting. And as long as I get to meet people like me, then it's gotta be good, isn't it? Good. Now, that course is £380. <laughs> <laughs> you what? Now, will that be cash backs or check? I am a full-time carer. How am I supposed to afford that? Oh, well, it is very popular nowadays, is knitting. Oh, you see, I'm not going to be able to afford that. I'm a full-time carer. I look after my mum full-time. I don't have a job. I was just wondering if there could be possibly anything else that you could help me with. I understand exactly where you're coming from. Don't you worry, I can help. Now let's have a think. Oh, there is another course, a cake making course. Oh. Yes, it's a 12 week course, but you have to commit to that mind. Now how am I supposed to commit to a 12 week course? I mean, I look after my mum and her needs, they're just so specific, you know what I mean? And. I'm not always going to be able to get somebody to look after every single week. Twelve weeks, it's just a long time to be able to commit to. Oh, but it's such a bargain. You get 12 lessons at the discount price of £400. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Might as well be £4 million. Pounds. <clears throat> See, see. I had to go through all of this as well as looking after my mum every single day. It just felt like I was on an onward spi spiral and like a train that never stops. And like a, a desert island with no water. I felt like I was speaking to all these people, but they just weren't listening to me and not taking in what it is that I was feeling and understanding. And I, I just felt like I needed someone to help me with my finances, to even listen to me and actually someone I could speak to, even somebody to help me with my GP and because even my health is going down the drain, <coughs> people to meet up with. Like I'm, sure. I'm giving and I'm giving, I'm giving. 
I'm never receiving anything back. I just hope there's somebody out there that actually would listen to me and could help me. Hi, I'm Bev, Carers Helpline, we're Curbulton Carers Support. We provide services for carers that support you. A dedicated 24-7 Carers Helpline, Benefits Advisor, we provide carers breaks, workshops and training, and we have outreach points around the borough where you can meet other carers in similar situations. Hi, I'm Sue, I'm a volunteer at Volunteer Carer Support. As a volunteer, we help out with carers and the staff with the outings and the cafes that we go to. So we're always here for you. Thank you. Hello. My name is Abida. I'm one of the trustees. We oversee and manage the running of Bolton Carer Support we also make sure that all the carers stay connected and supported. Thank you. The idea of our work is to make sure people know where to turn when they need us. Uh, so we do have a 24-7 helpline. People can ring the number and get any questions answered. And if we can't help, we'll direct people to people who can help. We've got outings, trips, courses and events that people can sign up to and that helps with socialising, tackling isolation and really creating new networks and friendships for people. We've got a benefits advisor who is absolutely fantastic and supporting and explaining the benefits system to people but also because she sits within Bolton Care Support she can also pick up on other issues um, and concerns that people have and can direct to other appropriate services. We've also got our carers' cafes as well um, in the community with our outreach worker and really going to people in their own local communities, which is absolutely fantastic. And then once we connect people in that way, they can then join and visit us to tap into the other services that we offer. We've also got newly developed projects such as the Time For You Sitting Service where we really draw in our volunteers to really help us to really get out to all the carers who need help maybe in just getting a two hour break to go to the hairdressers or just nip to the shops. So we do re really rely on our volunteers and we'd like to train and support more volunteers to get involved with us. So please, if you do know of anyone who would like some support from Bolton Care for Support, put them in touch with us and we'll do our best to help them.